I am a dangerous voice dangerous to your religion and the smallness of which you believe the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraw thanks for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us i'm creating holy ghost worshipers a new breed of believer a people who know god in the earth today and how to walk with him say know him, know him. and how to walk with him well that's new and this is not what's being taught and preached in most churches mm -hmm. the church at large is doing and preaching something different mm -hmm. you can hear that it's different i can hear that you're not a holy ghost worshiper good words sure mm -hmm. but something's not there well how do you know it? i know it because i used to be just like you mm -hmm. i've preached all of those things mm -hmm. except better yeah. but i am a dangerous voice dangerous to your religion and the smallness of which you believe we all live and think in the context of what we were brought up in you can't help but not do that yeah. but if the context is wrong even the truth itself when presented to you will be inaccessible the things they were brought up in don't allow them to go there yeah. and so when the truth comes to them it's just out of reach can't quite get it especially if you're not willing to change you have to be willing to change most people don't like change minor changes maybe and you can see that in this statement that we all know a sinner saved by grace that just requires a small change I'm still a sinner but now I'm saved by grace I get to die and go to heaven I don't there wasn't much change there was there a little bit of change maybe mm -hmm. but don't mess with my reality this whole scope of reality that I've been brought up in you start messing with that and I don't want anything to do with it does this make sense Yes. are you ready mm -hmm. because I will mess with your reality Jesus left you Jesus is not here right now in the earth he's not here I don't care how many preachers say that he's with you he's not he the real Jesus left say left left, left you left me left us mm -hmm. and the real Jesus is not here the real gospel begins here with Jesus leaving why because he took away mm -hmm. your sins he finished the work he had to do say he finished the work, he finished the work. and then left that's where the gospel the good news for you begins mm -hmm. the gospel begins with Jesus leaving you well, that doesn't sound good I know because you want Jesus to be with you John chapter 20 and verse 17 now this is Mary Mary came to Jesus right at the tomb and then she found him standing there and Jesus saith unto her touch me not what would she be touching by the way his spirit spirit ooh you Jesus was a spin no his physical body say physical body. physical body because Jesus was physically raised from the dead 
touch me not for I am not yet ascended to my father Jesus raised from the dead was not yet ascended mm -hmm. say ascended, ascended to his father yes. did he say I was not yet ascended to myself no. no no but go to my brethren and say unto them I ascend to my father and your father and to my God and your God his father and his God are you here yeah. am I making this up no. you ready for this I'm just gonna say it anyway Jesus wasn't just raised from the dead Jesus was raised from the earth mm -hmm. if he was raised from the dead was he still dead no if he's raised from the earth was he still in the earth yeah. no let's look at that Acts chapter 1 verse 9 and when he had spoken these things while they beheld he Jesus was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight they're all standing here the disciples mm -hmm. and Jesus while he was talking with them started going up up means off the earth going up and a cloud received him out of their sight they couldn't see him anymore and while they looked steadfastly toward the sky toward heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel which also said ye men of Galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same Jesus what Jesus are you talking about this same Jesus that they physically saw physically raised up and physically go into heaven this same Jesus a different Jesus no the same one this same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven has this happened yet no. it has not happened yet so where is this same Jesus still there yes. this hasn't happened yet so he's still there right. say he's still there, he's still there. Jesus wasn't just raised from the dead he was raised from the earth physically mm -hmm. he's not here right. this is right mm -hmm. yes. this Jesus is right mm -hmm. your little squirrely Jesus can't be right if this is right Luke 18 8 says when the Son of Man returns will he find faith on the earth where's he returning to the earth and when he returns say when when, when he returns will he find something on the earth this is what he's going to find mm -hmm. me walking in faith and him finding me walking in faith this is the Jesus I preach this same Jesus I preach this same Jesus the one who's not here the one who shall return how can he return if he's here Acts chapter 2 verse 32 Peter's preaching here and he says this Jesus this Jesus hath God raised up not only from the grave but from the earth whereof we are all witnesses did they witness it yes. they witnessed it in Acts chapter 1 verse 11 therefore being by the right hand of God exalted mm -hmm. present tense being there so Jesus is still at the right hand of the Father and they the Father and Jesus sent the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. to be with us in the earth the real Holy Ghost not your sad version of the mute Holy Ghost who says nothing you know a lot of people have a mute Holy Ghost it's not that Holy Ghost they sent the Holy Ghost 
as God in the earth yes. we walk with him the one that the Father and Jesus sent to be with us the Holy Ghost is God he's in the earth and we walk with him he is a living God mm -hmm. now you'd have to be full of life to have that as your name mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. you wouldn't look at a dead God and go oh he's a living God no you'd say he's a living God if he's full of life he the Holy Ghost is the living God he's full of life and he's full of things to say but you say that he won't speak I've heard so many sermons on that makes me literally want to barf if he speaks anything it'll be only about Jesus and it'll only glorify Jesus if that's what you were brought up in you can't go here you have a mute Holy Ghost who do you think would push mute on the Holy Ghost besides your, your religious tradition him speaking at all is dangerous to your religion first timothy chapter 6 verse 17 trust in believe in have faith in the living god mm -hmm. who gives us richly all things to enjoy Amen. That's right. holy ghost came into the earth as the living god not the silent third partner as the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy I worship him I speak in agreement with him and he gives me richly all things to enjoy welcome to my world welcome to my belief welcome to my religion I walk with the living God are you here you either do this or you're not here yet the Holy Ghost when you get to know him he's full of life can you give me that mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is full of life he is life he's the spirit of life no death at all Holy Ghost full of life and full of things to say first Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 now the Spirit speaks does your Bible say that yes now say now. now the Spirit speaks expressly that in the latter times oh oh that would be us eh yeah. the latter times some shall depart from the faith that Jesus shall return to giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils you want to know what the number one doctrine of the devil is it's right in that verse it says the spirit doesn't speak he speaks expressly the Holy Ghost not speaking is a doctrine that the devil came up with does the spirit speak yes. the spirit speaks expressly acts chapter 13 verse 2 as they ministered to the lord and fasted the holy ghost said who said the holy, the holy ghost said something so obviously he speaks the Holy Ghost said separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I have called them who called Barnabas and Saul the Holy Ghost he said I he said me he's talking about himself why would he talk about it he's God in the earth today verse 3 and when they had fasted and prayed they laid their hands on them and sent them away so they being sent forth by the Holy Ghost yes. Holy Ghost called them mm -hmm. Holy Ghost sent them forth mm -hmm. first Corinthians chapter 12 and then verse 1 now concerning spiritual things brethren I would not have you ignorant 
verse 11 but all these worketh that one say that one, that one. and self same spirit Holy Ghost dividing to every man severally as he wills the one spirit the Holy Ghost does all of these things that he just listed and we didn't read them all but he does all those things as he wills mm -hmm. say as he wills. as he wills you're ignorant of him mm -hmm. God the Holy Ghost that he's in the earth doing things as he wills you're saying it's against the Father and Jesus no because they sent him to do what he wills in the earth all of these things he speaks as he wills well not only does he speak we get to speak in agreement with him yes. this is my religion mm -hmm. walking with the living God by speaking in agreement with him first Corinthians chapter 2 in verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God or the spirit of God or the spirit God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God which things also we speak yeah. also means they've been spoken first mm -hmm. also we speak dangerous voicing of things that God the Holy Ghost is speaking dangerous to whom the devil and the religious people all around you mm -hmm. say the religious people all around me me voicing also as he speaks mm -hmm. it's very dangerous for them because it requires a change or a rejection I've been rejected by a lot of people while I'm saying the things God says and the things God told me to say is that dangerous mm -hmm. these things threaten your reality that you were comfortable in and walking in listen you see I don't walk with Jesus how's your walk with Jesus enjoy your walk with Jesus get out there and walk with Jesus I don't walk with Jesus the real Jesus I do walk with the one Jesus sent for me to walk with and that pleases him I do walk with the Holy Ghost the Living God the God in the earth today and he gives me richly all things to enjoy because I say so what do you mean you say so I say what he said he said that he's the Living God and he gives me richly all things to enjoy what do I say so I say that he the Living God gives me richly all things to enjoy this is my religion I worship you Holy Ghost that's living that's different than what I used to do in the old religious ways mm -hmm. I've become a dangerous voice you have become a dangerous voice and when this is over says the Spirit of the Lord the great things will have manifested and I will have been able to live in you in such a way that the world will know and see that I am God and then and only then Jesus shall return in the cloud that same Jesus we worship you Holy Ghost we thank you that you are God and you've given us this great privilege and honor to worship you and walk with you in the earth by saying words in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost you are the living God and I'm learning how to live by you you give great things to me you give me all things richly to enjoy 
I worship you I thank you in Jesus name amen in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your 